The Strymon Cloudburst is a really big sound in a really small package, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the Strymon Cloudburst in conjunction with a Strymon Mini Switch to expand its capability to switch through some different settings and some different modes. I'm gonna show you how to set that up and what it sounds like. What's up everyone, welcome back to Sunday Tone. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and liking this video. In today's video, we are talking about the Strymon Mini Switch and how to set it up with the Cloudburst. If you haven't seen it already, I've done a full demo on the Strymon Cloudburst and you can check that out right here. So the Strymon Cloudburst lets you set up three different modes with the Mini Switch. And those are a favorite setting, a freeze setting, and an infinite setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up each of those, how to configure the Cloudburst to work with each of those, and then we'll kind of talk about each mode as we go through it. But uh, the Strymon Mini Switch is a great way if you don't have MIDI set up on your board and you want something very small to add extra functionality, I think the Mini Switch is great for that. The other thing is that the Mini Switch doesn't require any power. It just uses a standard TRS cable. So that's really nice if you don't have any more power outlets on your power supply, or you're just trying to add a small uh, extra setting to your board um, that can fit into a really small place. So the first mode we're gonna talk about with the mini switch is the favorite setting. Um, and when it's configured in the favorite mode, uh, the mini switch acts as a as another setting, another preset on the Cloudburst. Um, so you could have the settings that are on the knobs that are on the pedal, and then you could have an additional setting stored that when you engage the switch, it switches you to that preset. When you disengage the switch, it switches you back to the settings that are on the pedal. All right, so here we are. I'm going to give you a baseline for where we're at. I'm uh, playing through a... Fender Telecaster into the Strymon Iridium. Here's the clean tone. Um, and there's a little bit of reverb coming from the Iridium, but um, here we go. And this is with the Cloudburst on. All right, so First, what we need to do to set up this mini switch um, is to set up what the expression um, jack back here is doing. And to do that, uh, you have to use one of the power up modes. And um, the way that works is you hold down this button while you're powering up the pedal. Um, and uh, you see here I have the mini switch with a TRS cable that's included with the pedal running into the expression MIDI jack. So to start out here, we are going to power off the pedal, unplug power, hold down this button, and plug in the power as we're holding it down. And now that you see the, the light blinking there, that means we are in the power up mode. And so you're gonna use the mix control here and the mix control um, has different color lights depending on what setting you're on. Um, so all the way over is the green mode is for using an expression pedal. And as you turn it up, the amber mode is the one we want, which is for the favorite switch, but I'll keep going. And then uh, the red mode, the red mode is for the freeze and then purple is for uh, the infinite mode. So we're gonna go ahead and put it at about 10 o'clock into the amber mode. And when you're ready, just go ahead and uh, push foot switch and you see it blinked and then it went back to the normal light and restarted. All right, so now we have set up the expression MIDI jack to the right setting, to the favorite setting. And what we wanna do next is we want to pick what we want our preset to be. So I'm gonna put this on a more subtle setting. Turn the mod down, tone down a little bit with the ensemble off. And when you do this, you wanna make sure to turn on the favorite switch 
And so now we want to save this into uh, the favorite switch. So to do that, you're going to hold down the main foot switch until you see it blank. And then now you're in the save mode. And then just to confirm that, you're going to hold it down again. All right, so now we are on our uh, kind of normal setting. So that's our favorite setting. Um, and if we want to change what's on the knobs, we'll go ahead and switch to a more ambient setting. Um, it's going to be something like this. Move this up a little bit more. Turn on the ensemble switch. Turn up the mod. A little pre delay. So we have something like this. Like that, and then if we engage the favorite switch, so there you go, we're back to our more subtle settings. So you can quickly switch between the two. So the next mode uh, that the cloud burst allows you to set up is a freeze mode. And you can think of this like other pedals that do a similar thing, um, but what it really does is you play a chord or a note, you engage the switch, and it latches onto that note, and it continues to freeze that note and allows you to play over top of that. Um, one thing to remember is the, the initial chord, the initial note is sent through the reverb, but those additional notes that you play on top don't have reverb applied to them. So you kind of have this really clean uh, playing over top of a really ambient pad sound or chord, whatever, whatever you set it up as. In this next mode, we're gonna need to set up the mini switch um, for the freeze setting. And the first thing you need to do is actually open up the mini switch and there is something you need to be able to change on the inside. So I'm gonna show you that really quick. All right, now that we have the screws off, we're gonna take the back off of the mini switch. And it's really difficult to kind of see in here, but you're gonna see uh, this spot right here. Let me see if I can get that. There's a spot right here where you'll see tap and you'll say favorite. And basically there's a little tiny little jumper thing right here. And you're gonna to need to take that off and move it so that it is aligned with the tap right there. And that's the setting it needs to be on um, to be used for, a, uh, for, the, for the freeze mode as well as the infinite mode. And so from the factory, it's gonna be set up on the favorite one like uh, mine was. And so I just quickly moved this. Um, it's kinda of hard to see right here, but you basically take this little thing out here. Let's see if I can do it. And then you put it in just like that. All right, so I've reassembled the mini switch and the next thing we're gonna need to do now is we wanna use the freeze mode. So we have to reconfigure uh, the mini expression uh, jack to be set up for the freeze mode. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go into the power up mode again so we can switch, uh, switch modes. And like I said, I've reassembled the mini switch. It would be really cool if uh, Strymon had updated this and added a switch on the back where you could just switch between tap and favorite so that uh, it'd be really easy to switch it back and forth between those two. Um, but let's go ahead and turn the pedal off. And we are gonna hold down again while powering it up. And so now we're gonna take the mix knob and we want to put it into the red right there and then for freeze and we're going to go ahead and hit this and hold it down all right so now we have everything set up for the freeze mode so we're going to go ahead and use the mini switch to try that out And the 
third mode that you can set up with the Cloudburst and the Mini Switch is a uh, infinite mode. And this functions similarly to uh, the freeze mode, but this one allows you to latch the switch, so hold it down, and while you're doing that, every note that you play is sustained, is held infinitely. And the second you release the switch, um, those reverb tails trail off, so it almost acts as a sustain pedal on a keyboard or a piano, or if you're familiar with that. All right, so now we are gonna set up the infinite mode, um, and it's the same way as we set up the other modes. You're gonna power off the pedal, unplug the power, hold down while you're plugging in the power until you see it start flashing. And now we are in the setup mode, and so we're gonna go ahead and take the mix knob again and turn it until it goes purple, and then we are going to hold down Select that, let go. And so now we should be in the infinite mode and I'm gonna demo that for you. So I hope that helped you understand what you can do with the mini switch and how it can expand the functionality of the Cloudburst. Um, but I, for me, I really love having a favorite setting um, in such a small package that doesn't need to be powered. And so that's what I'm going to be using this for. So if you haven't checked out Sunday Tone over on Instagram yet, please head on over there and give that account a follow. I'll be posting more short form videos over there and you won't wanna miss out on that. But thanks for checking out this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions about the Cloudburst or about the mini switch and I will see you all in the next one.